Today, Mr. 4x4 and I, Pat Callanan, are in Glenbrook National Park and we found a real Brumby. Well, I think we've found a bit of an off-roader, I'd call it, Terry. We have, Pat, the Cub Brumby. Now, this is built for extreme outback conditions. Pat, what do you love about the Brumby? Well, the important thing with the Brumby is that it's got a really strong, fully galvanised chassis, and connected to that is independent suspension. So, no matter what sort of tracks you go over, it soaks up the lumps and bumps with ease. Sounds like uh, it's got some pretty serious tyres, too. Look, it does. It's got the 16-inch tyres and some good all-terrain rubber. And as well as that, it's got a really nice long drawbar, and that's a real advantage in off-road conditions. Pat, this one's got a boat on it too. Yeah, look, it's got a pretty unique boat loader, so I'll show you how it works. Now this model has a new generation stainless steel rollout kitchen, complete with sink and two burner stove. It's a great preparation and storage area, and it's got a really handy side shelf as well. There's a large fridge box on the drawbar with extra storage. Well, no sooner had we set up the Brumby, Pat, but the weather set in on us. Mate, you know what? I don't mind it. I, there's a certain charm about sleeping under canvas in the bush and just listening to that rain pitter-patter on the roof. And in this case, you've got 12 ounce diner proofed Australian made canvas. Now, this can really go anywhere around Australia. Where have you taken it? OK, so we've taken them up the Canning Stock Route. Uh, we've taken them across the Kimberley, done the top end, also done the Cape York as well. Um, good trip through outback Queensland there. Um, Look, the Red if Center. you want to find out a little bit more about the Cub Brumby or any of the Cub range, visit cubcampers.com.au. Yes, mate. Sorry, yeah. Across there.